The 26th variation incorporates a number of different strokes. It's primarily about up bow and down bow ricochet, but it also has these full long bows, as well as retake down bows at the frog. In general for this variation, I think it's helpful to be very aware of our shoulder position. So we need obviously the shoulders to be open, but also whether we're facing a little bit towards the left or the right, depending on what string you're playing on and whereabouts in the bow you are. So uh, for example, the variation starts on the G string. And so if we slightly turn the cello as well, a little bit towards the, the left, that means that we can play further into the string here. We can let the, sink, the uh, bow sink a little bit deeper into the string. But then also we don't want to crowd with the, uh, with the right shoulder here. So we need to keep that back and then be ready for the full extension because we're going to be using the full bow here. As far as practicing the ricochet goes, um, I think that it's important to practice it both out of context and also in context in with the momentum coming from the note preceding and going to the note following. Um, it's obviously an off the string bow as bow stroke as we've talked about before, but again, we don't want to be too high with, with, with the bow, nor do we want to be too low. Um, and also in general, we want to be remembering the horizontal aspect of all of these strokes as well, so that they never become too splashy. And especially with these more um, off the string strokes, it's very easy for that to happen. In the B section, where we have two eighths in a down bow slurred using a whole bow, um, I find it helpful to think about really sustaining the second part of, of the slur, so the second eighth note. So having a, a slightly lower arm, trying to keep my arm really low and, and weighted, and that helps to make sure that the bow doesn't come too high before the ricochet. And also I think it helps the momentum and the horizontal feeling. <laughs> It's very hard to play this one out of context as well. I think, again, that momentum of where we're coming from and going is really important. So working with a metronome and practicing in small sections, gradually increasing the tempo is, is a good way forward with this one.